Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be looking at limits that are derivatives in disguise. In a previous video, we learned that the formal definition of a derivative says f prime of x equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. This is a limit that we need to learn to recognize as a derivative in the context of a problem. Now, if we plug in a specific x value, x equals c, then our equation becomes f prime of c equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of c plus h minus f of c over h. We also need to learn to recognize this in the context of a problem. Here's an example. Suppose we have the limit as h goes to zero of three times the quantity of x plus h to the fourth power minus three x to the fourth all over h. Now we could simplify all the algebra, but instead we could recognize that this is the formal definition of a derivative for a specific function. What we need to do is extract the function. Here the function is just three x to the fourth. And we know that because the last term in the numerator of the formal definition of a derivative is just f of x. Now that we know the function, we can use the power rule to find the derivative. The derivative of 3x to the fourth is 12x cubed. And since this entire limit equals the derivative of 3x to the fourth, we know that it equals 12x cubed. That wasn't so bad, right? We just needed to extract the function, then we could use the power rule. Now here's a slightly trickier example. We have the limit as h goes to zero of three times two plus h to the fourth power minus 48 over h. At first glance, this may look confusing. What's the 48? What's the two? This limit is still a formal definition of a derivative, but with a specific number x equals c plugged in instead of just x. But what's the c value though? Well, instead of x plus h, we have two plus h. That means c equals two. And our function is still three x to the fourth. We can extract that from this first term, which is f of x plus h. So f of x is three x to the fourth. Well, what about the 48? Well, that's just three x to the fourth with two plugged in for x. In other words, we've plugged in c. 3 times 2 to the 4th equals 48. So hopefully you can now see that this entire limit is just the formal definition of a derivative for the function 3x to the 4th at the point c equals 2. Now, f prime of x equals 12x cubed by the power rule, and f prime of c equals 96. So the entire limit equals 96. Instead of doing all of the algebra, we just needed to outline the steps. What's the function? What's the c? What is f of c? What is f prime of x? And finally, what is f prime of c? Here's another example. We have the limit as h goes to zero of sine pi over two plus h minus one over h. Now, since we have a one at the end, that's a big clue that a c has been plugged in to the formal definition of a derivative. What's the c? Well, let's go to the parentheses, and instead of x plus h, we have pi over two plus h. That means c equals pi over two. So let's extract the pieces. f of x equals sine x. We know that the derivative of sine is cosine. We know that c equals pi over two and f of c equals one. Now we know this limit means the derivative of sine at the point c equals pi over two. So what we're gonna do is plug in pi over two into cosine and we get cos pi over two, which is zero. That means the entire limit is zero. So here's the summary. If you're asked to solve a limit, that's really just the formal definition of a derivative, what you need to do is first extract the function then before doing the algebra, try to find the derivative using the shortcuts that you know. If there's an x in the limit, that means you're done. If there's a c that has been plugged in, then you just need to find f prime of c, and then you've solved the limit. Learning to recognize limits that are actually derivatives will help you tremendously on your calculus journey. And that's how you rock calculus.